I'm doing this round table meeting at Sue's request. She's started divorce proceedings. I can't afford a lawyer, so I'm being represented by my accountant. Ian Wold, nice to meet you. Hello. I'm Sue's solicitor. Ian Wold. And you are? Uh, he's my solicitor. <laughs> Not really. You can't afford a solicitor. I'm his accountant. <laughs> I have to advise you that you really should retain a proper qualified solicitor. Yeah, we did actually study law as well. Yeah, one term at the University of Bolton. I haven't heard of that school. Did it used to be a polytechnic? No, I think it used to be a laundrette. <laughs> no, seriously, it was a shithole, but uh, I wasn't cut out for law anyway. Too hard. Do you know what I'd really like to? You know those big rigs that you get in America? I'd like to get behind the wheel of one of them and, and just drive cross country and sort of imagine myself driving along and and sing an old shack and driving straight through it and wood and chickens flying <laughs> everywhere and people shouting, Hey, sorry. look at that. Sorry, hey. sorry. Can we just put your dreams on hold for now and, and focus yeah. on Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, so, what's the usual split about half and half? Well, that's what we're here to negotiate. Yeah, gotcha, yeah. Um, so... I'm not seeing this as a final chapter. I'm seeing this as a chance to listen to her complaints, make amends and start again. Depending on what those complaints are. I mean, if it's leaving the toilet seat up, then yeah, fine. I won't do it again. If it's bus dry harder in the bedroom, then forget it, I couldn't. I've been working my bloody socks off, love. I'll have a coronary. You know, any more effort on my part and you can open your eyes to a dead dwarf slumped on you. There's loads of jobs I'd like to do before accountancy. River police. Oh, river police. How do you get into being river police? I'd love to do that, you know. Oh, what's that? Dead body. Get it out. It's a tramp. He's been murdered, looks like it. He's been raped. We don't know. So, Sue so says you're a famous actor. Well, you tell me. Well, I've not heard of you. Are you a famous actor? Yes. Sue so says you've been in some films? Some films. Possibly. Have you heard of some films like Star Wars and Return of the Jedi? Yes. Yeah, and uh, the Harry Potter films, you heard of those? Yes. And uh, have you heard of a film called Willow? No. No. No, I've never heard of Willow. Were you in that? I was the star of that, yes. No, I've never heard of Willow. Right. Not many people have, to be honest. It was not a success. It was a success. Mm, not really. Return of the Jedi, that was a massive success. I was in that. What were you in that? I was an Ewok. So your face was covered up? Well, yes, it was, yes. But I don't remember seeing you in Harry Potter either. Yeah, I was Professor Flitwick. You couldn't really see space. I mean, if you'd seen Willow, then my face was in that all the way through. As I said before, I've not seen Willow nor even heard of it. No. And as I said, no one has, so don't feel too bad. Uh, have you heard of a, a little show called The Office? Were you in that? Yeah, no, but I was in extras made by the same blokes. Ah, oh, I didn't see it. Didn't you? Oh, I didn't like extras. It was just a sitcom where famous people popped up as themselves. Well, then I must be pretty famous then, or they wouldn't have had me in it. Mm, yeah, it wasn't clear if you were supposed to be famous or not. I mean, did they even mention your name? You were a prop. Basically, you're a prop. Sorry, while we were discussing my CV, can we just get back to this? Mm -hmm.